Hey there! Today I'll show you how to create a footer for PrestaShop using Creative Elements Page Builder. When you create a footer with Creative Elements Theme Builder, it can be displayed on any theme across your website. Whether you use a template, design a new footer from scratch, or edit an existing one, it will be updated globally across the store. Footer usually appears at the end of every page of your web shop, below the body content. It plays an important role in the user's experience by helping visitors find information faster and navigate easily without having scroll back up to the header. So let's dive in and build our own footer. On your back office, go to Creative Elements, Theme Builder. Click on Add New button. Here we can give a name for our footer and choose the footer type. Click on Save and Stay and open the Live Editor. As you can see the library jumps up with our pre-designed footer blocks. If you would like to build a footer very quickly, they can be a good starting point as well. Just import them and modify to your needs. But now we will create everything from scratch. Let's add a new section with four columns. Set the content width to the same value as the other parts of the site. Go to the Style tab and add a light background color. And add some padding to the top. For the first column we will need a little more space. 40% will be great. And distribute the space evenly between the remaining three columns. For this you can drag the edges or on column settings you can give exact values. 20% will be good for each. Let's drag a heading widget to the first column. This column will contain a subscription option and we will offer a small shopping bonus. On the Style tab choose a slightly bigger font size. 24px will be perfect. We can also reduce the HTML tag to H3, as these are moderately important. On the Advanced tab we can add a little padding to the top. Now drag a text editor widget, where we can write a few words that increase confidence. On the Style tab set up a lighter text color. And set up a little margin to the right. 30% will be okay. Now we can add the email subscription field too. I give a little bigger size and some space between the button and the input field. The width of the widget can be also reduced a little. Let's fine tune the look of the form. I choose a lighter border color. For the button, a brown background. And for the hover state, a light brown color. Great! Let's choose another font family for the button. And a little more letter spacing. I think we can set up a little more padding on the left and right. so it fits better with the rest of the page. The GDPR text is too strong color, so we can set a little lighter. On the Content tab you can find some additional options which are connected to the widget. Here you can find a button which brings you to the newsletter subscription module, where you can find extra settings, and also the list of your subscribers. Furthermore, you have possibility to change the GDPR consent message here. Now it's time to build the footer menus on the right with the most important menu items. First duplicate the title and drag to the next column. So we will have all styling. This column will contain our services. Let's drag an icon list widget here, which will contain our useful links. On the Style tab we can give a little more space between the items. 
set a light text color. And for the hover, stay to brown. Great! We can now add our menu items. I create now the items without icons, but you can use them of course. After you write the name of the first menu point click on the link parameter. The link field has a built-in live search, so if you start writing your page name, it will help you to add the URL. It can search in a lot of page types like CMS pages, static pages, products, categories, brands, and suppliers. Let's add our next menu point, which will be the delivery. Since I don't want to rob you of your time, we are speeding up the process a bit. A small stop. If you would like, you can edit the text right on the live interface too. And fast forward again. Ready. We are done quickly with this part, aren't we? Let's add a new section. Set the content width to the same value as above. On the style tab add a light background color too. And set some padding to the top and bottom of this section. Drag a divider into the section. And choose a light color. This will separate the lower part of the footer. After this, Drag an inner section. As you can see it does not take the full width of the area, so in content width, choose the full width option, and we can set the content position to the middle. We will create our copyright text with a little trick, so drag an icon list to the left column. Leave only one item, and for the icon choose the copyright sign. Let's write the date and the copyright info. If you would like, you can set up a link here. On the style tab we can choose a lighter color for the icon. And for the text too. Great! Now we will add some social icons which can bring our visitors to our social channels. Align them to the right. Set the shape to circle. And we will define custom colors. For the primary color I use white with a lot of opacity. And for secondary a dark gray. Set the icon size. Add a solid border with one pixel width and a light gray color. As you can see the hover colors are not so good like that, so let's change them. For primary color we can use the same white with opacity. For secondary a dark gray and we will indicate mainly the hover state with a little darker border color. It looks great. Now you can add your own social icons like Pinterest. And link to the correct URL. Add another one for Instagram. Let's save our footer and check how it looks like. Now that we are ready with the desktop version, it's time to check and optimize for mobile devices. 
As you can see, it looks a bit crowded on tablet, so we will make the first column to 100% width. We can remove the margin from the text. And we can make the subscription fields wider. It looks so much better. We can now evenly distribute the space between the three columns below. I think the footer looks good on tablet with these settings. Save it. And switch to mobile editing mode. The text seemed to fit. But for entering the email address, I think we have too little space. So click on the widget. And set the layout to multi-line. We can make the subscribe button full width too. Great! If you scroll down you can see that these menu items take up too much space. Click to edit the widget. And on the style tab you can change it for two columns. Do the same with the other menu points too. The only thing left is to align the social icons to the left. That's great! Our mobile footer has all the functionality and layout what we need. Let's save our work. Click on the burger icon here and navigate back to the back office. If you go to the front office and reload the page you can see that the original footer is still there. So if you have a live shop, your customers can use the web shop without interruption while you work on the footer. It's time to change the footer to the new what we just made. Click on theme builder and on the bottom at theme settings, you can choose the new footer. Save it. Go to the front office and refresh the page. As you can see the new footer appeared. I think it looks really good. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Go ahead and explore the possibilities on your own shop too. Have fun creating and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials.